Hey, this is Rich from Lower West Side Studio, and today we're going to talk about Paya's 9700 MIDI to CV8 um, MIDI input to control voltage output controller. Um, as you can see, this version of the controller has been actually modified from FRAC format to MU format, just because that's the format my modular is in. I've replaced the, the eighth inch jacks with quarter inch jacks, and I've replaced the toggle switch uh, for reset with a push button momentary switch, but I've left the dip switches uh, pretty much th in the same position and the MIDI in and the MIDI through. This module has a lot of really cool features depending on how you set the dip switches. Uh, today we're going to look at mode 6, the DIN sync mode. And this mode is really handy for those who want to take their MIDI clock from another source, such as another synthesizer or their DAW, and have that converted into a signal that's usable uh, as your clock for your modular synthesizer. Uh, when you're set up for uh, mode 6, uh, output number 8, as you see here, is the uh, 24 pulse per quarter note uh, output. And that's what we're going to be using to clock the uh, Q175 synthesizers.com MIDI interface aid, which complements the uh, Q174 MIDI interface. The MIDI interface aid has an arpeggiator, and we want to uh, use the uh, Moog Sub 37, uh, which is going to be our clock source. We want to use that to control the clock of the arpeggiator. So what we're doing for this particular patch is I've got a keyboard plugged into the Q174 to trigger the notes. We're taking the pitch out to a Q106 uh, synthesizers.com oscillator. Uh, the output of the oscillator is going into a .com Q17 Q107 state variable filter. And then from the filter, it's uh, going into an Oakley Classic VCA and then into the amp. Then what we're doing also is we're taking the gate of the uh, coming from the keyboard and into the Q174. We're running the gate into a .com Q109 envelope generator and then that uh, is going into the control voltage for the Oakley Classic VCA. And uh, then what we're doing also, uh, because you're getting, because you're getting uh, 24 pulses per quarter note, we're going to use a uh, Kakarill Synthesizer's CGS01 sub-oscillator. We're going to use some of its dividing features uh, to divide the, uh, the signal that's coming out so quickly and uh, make it usable uh, in a way that, that, that we can handle. So for example, at that point, the output is coming out of the CGS01. We're taking that, we're putting it into a multiple, uh, and one of those multiples is going into the clock in of the Q175 arpeggiator. The other multiple is going into the control voltage in uh, to control the frequency of the Q107 so that we can sort of get some neat filtering effects uh, based on how we attenuate the signal. Uh, and we'll see that in just a second. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm, I've got the MIDI input coming from the, from the sub-37. I'm just going to play a quick arpeggio on the sub-37. Okay, and now the arpeggio on the, on the uh, modular. It's kind of neat. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the arpeggio on the modular, but I'm going to alter the clock on the sub-37. Okay. So as you can see, I'm using an external source. I'm, I'm altering its clock timing, and that timing is then going into this modular and controlling the arpeggiator for the, from the Q175. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just swing the view around for a second. And we're going to have a look at the CGS01 and some really cool effects you can, you can make with it. Uh, because we're getting 24 pulses per quarter note out, we want to uh, reduce that number in order to uh, match the timing. For example, if we take the straight output of the clock that's, uh, that uh, is coming out of the, uh, the MIDI to CV8, you'll notice we've got a lot quicker timing than... Mm -hmm. 
So what I did for the initial demonstration is we were using the CGSs divided by two. which syncs up just lovely with, with the sub-37. If we actually alter it and go with the divide by 4, for example, you'll notice we're cutting the clock down even more. The divide by 8 So that's, that's a kind of cool way that you can use this as a clock divider. I mean, you can use other clock division modules to control that output, but that's what I've got in my, in my rig right now, so that's what I'm using. And one of the really cool things that you can do with it, because the CGS01 has basically a way to mix your, your various outputs, is I'll switch up first. I'm going to go take this out, the number two, just to get the same tempo as we've got on the, on the sub-37. But because I can attenuate it, and because we're going into the filter, see when you go below a certain point, you lose the, you lose the clock signal. That the voltage just isn't high enough. But as you go higher, you can muck around with the filter a little bit. But now I'm also going to mix some of that first signal in. So there you have it, a, uh, a really cool uh, feature of the MIDI to CV8 output uh, um, the in mode 6, DIN sync, the 24 pulse per quarter note output, uh, controlling a Q175synthesizers.com arpeggiator, um, and being modulated basically, or, or uh, being attenuated, excuse me, and divided by the CGS01 sub oscillator by Cat Girl Synthesizers. Um, neat way to control your modular, a neat way to sync it up with your DAW and with your external synthesizers. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video.